Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Jackie and I'm here to help you pass your US citizenship interview. Today, I'll have another simulated interview for you. That means I will be the officer and you will be the applicant. And don't just answer the questions in your head, answer them out loud because that's how you practice your answers and get better. And if you need some extra help, we do offer live mock interviews via Zoom on our website. We will customize the interview based on your application and we'll address any questions you might have about the interview. So make sure to check it out. I'll add a link in the description. All right, are you ready? Let's get started. Hi, I'm Officer Baker. I'm the immigration officer assigned to interview you today. Can I please have your appointment notice, your green card, your state issued ID, and your passports? Thank you very much. Okay. All right, thank you. So how was your weekend? All right, did you do anything fun? Oh, that's great. All right, you can go ahead and leave your belongings on the table. Before we start, I need to put you under oath. So please raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? All right, thank you, you can lower your hand. Do you know why you're here today? Very good, and did you come here voluntarily? Okay, are you ready for the interview? Great, and do you have any questions for me before we start? Okay. So tell me, why do you want to become a U.S. citizen? Thank you. And please tell me your current legal name. Okay, and have you used any other names? All right, do you wish to legally change your name today? Okay, and what will be the name that you want to change it to? Okay, not a problem. Just be aware that your oath ceremony may be delayed because a judge will need to be present at that oath ceremony for that name change. Are you okay with that? Okay. Can you please verify your social security number for me? Thank you. And which year did you get your green card? Thank you. What's your country of birth? Okay, thank you. And can you confirm your birthday for me? Okay, thank you. Do you have any disability that requires an accommodation for this interview? Great. What's the best number to reach you? Okay, is that your home number? Okay, thank you. Let's move on to the next section. Do you still live at the same address since you submitted your application? Okay, is this also where you receive your mail? Great. Have you lived at any other addresses in the past five years? Okay, thank you. Are either of your parents U.S. citizens? Where do they live? Okay. 
Approximately, how tall are you? And how much do you weigh? Okay, thank you. Let's talk about your employment. Are you currently employed? I see, and how long have you been doing that? What is the name of your company? Okay, do you like your job? <laughs> All right, great, thank you. Now let's talk a little bit about your travel history. Have you traveled outside of the United States since you submitted your application? Okay, and how many trips? Could you tell me the exact dates from when you left the US and when you came back? Okay, and what was the purpose of your trip? Okay, did anyone accompany you on the trip? Okay, what is your current marital status? Okay, and how many times have you been married? Did you bring your marriage certificate? Great, can I have it please? Thank you. Can you confirm your spouse's legal name? Okay, is your spouse an American citizen? And when did your spouse become an American citizen? Okay. What does your spouse do? All right. Is your spouse a current member of the U.S. Army? Thank you. Can you confirm the number of children you have? And how old are they? And what are their names? Thank you. And where do they live? Okay. Are they American citizens? And what are their relationship to you? Okay, thank you. Have you ever claimed to be a US citizen? Good. Have you ever registered to vote in the United States? And why is that? Very good. Do you now have, or did you ever have, a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? Have you ever been in a mental institution? Good. Have you paid your taxes since you became a green card holder? Great. Do you have any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? Did you bring your tax returns? Okay. Are these tax return transcripts? Great. Can I have them? Thank you very much. Okay. Since becoming a permanent resident, have you ever called yourself a non-resident on a tax return? Good. Are you a member of any organized groups or associations? Okay. Have you ever been a member of the Communist Party, Totalitarian Party, or a terrorist organization? Good. Have you ever not let someone practice his or her religion? Very good. 
Can you explain to me what is freedom of religion? Correct. Very good. Were you ever a member of any military unit or paramilitary unit? Okay. How about a police unit or a self-defense unit? Okay. Have you ever worked in a detention facility in your country? Thank you. Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? Okay, good. Have you ever been in jail or prison? Have you ever had any problems with alcohol or drugs? Thank you. Do you believe in polygamy? What is polygamy? Correct. Have you ever married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? Good. Have you ever helped anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally? Good. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? Thank you. Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? All right, we're almost done with the application. Do you support the Constitution in the form of government of the United States? Great. Do you understand and are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Very good. And if the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? And what's your understanding of bear arms? Very good. Are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? And are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Okay, very good. Is there anything I missed in your application that needs to be updated? Okay, so please take a look at your application in front of you to make sure one last time all of the information is correct. If it is correct, Please print your name, sign, and date on the tablet for me, please. Now next, please review the Oath of Allegiance document. And if you agree to all of the statements, please print, sign, and date. Thank you. Thank you. Let's move on to the next portion of the interview. Please read the sentence on the tablet for me. Good. Now I'm going to read a sentence to you and I need you to write it down on the tablet. Are you ready? Okay. People come to America for freedom. All right, great. You've passed that portion of the interview and now we're gonna move on to the last section, which is the civics test. Have you studied? All right, great. Shouldn't be a problem then. Let's start. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. Good. Who vetoes bills? Correct. And when must all men register for the selective service? 
Great. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? Yes. There were 13 original states. Name three. Who was the first president? Very good. Well, you've got all of them. You've passed all of the tests and met all of the requirements. Congratulations. Here is a copy of your interview results. Do you have any questions for me? Okay, well, congrats again, and I'll take you to the customer service area. Thank you.